first started, it was vinyl. You know, vinyl and reel to reel tape. You know, I bought a million 45s and I didn't eat lunch in school for years because I took all my money and bought records. People could see everything when you're playing vinyl. The record, you see the needle on there, they can hear it, they can feel it. Playing with records, you've got a physical thing and you, you know, you're looking at the color of the labels and that's how you remember things. So yeah, I used to drag around crates of records around the world. I can't begin to tell you A, how heavy, B, how much I've spent in overweight luggage, and C, how many times I've had records stolen from me. I went to Hong Kong to do a show, and everyone was on CD players, and I was like, this is really interesting. Where's the turntable? There were a couple of companies that were coming out with rack-loaded CD players, and they weren't very user-friendly. Pioneer contacted me, and I sat down with them, and they were working on introducing the CD player. The CDJ500 was for me uh, the first method to test my own tracks and make bootlegs and start using tools in my vinyl sets. You open the top up, you, you drop the CD in, and it seemed to work. You still managed to retain the art of DJing as much as you could. And a lot of old school DJs didn't want to let go. There were a lot of people, a lot of DJs, like, oh, people that play with CDs aren't real DJs. They couldn't tell me that. I played a couple of shows where I was installing the CDJs, and half of my crowd would walk away because I wasn't going to be a real DJ. It's important to embrace technology, and it's important to move forward. I could see that coming. I remember broadcasting to the whole country, these things will be the future. Mark my words, and I knew it was going to happen. The CDJ-1000 dramatically changed the DJ game for me. I remember looking at them thinking, what are those? Are those UFOs? I mean, I remember it looking kind of familiar and alien at the same time. And then the engineer said, okay, this is what it could do. And he took the wheel and he started scratching with it. And I was like, whoa, wait a minute. How are you doing that? blowing my freaking mind, you know, the only time I'd ever seen anyone scratch an optical disc was in the first Batman film. I was just amazed because I think every DJ, especially a scratch DJ, always wanted to be able to scratch or manipulate their own material. So the turntables were going into the back cupboards and the CD player, on the rise and rise of the CD player, was becoming more and more apparent. This became the CD player to have at every single club all over the world, and it happened in the space of barely a year. I think I came home and started putting together things that you weren't going to be able to do. Well, I can take this in the studio and use this as a studio tool. The sound is great. There's no wow or flutter. There's no fluff on the needle. The, uh, you can have as much bass as you like. It then became not about going to the record shop and buying tunes. It became about downloading them. Now, if you had to buy all your tracks and download them, did you really need to burn them onto CD? I've never used a laptop, never will, because I think you put something between you and the crowd, you lose something special. I was really happy to find out that with the, the CDJ2000, you were able to, uh, to play music from your USB stick. Pop my USB in, I'm ready to go. Programming cue points was a whole new thing. Looping, a whole new world opened up. You could do things that you couldn't previously do, like you can quantize all your loops. I mean, just that small feature alone was just so great. Well, the record box software became a very integral part of the entire Pioneer experience. It allowed you to also see what you were playing during the set. So immediately, if I record a set, I would now have a record of what I was playing. So with the launch of the CDJ 2000 Nexus, Pioneer stepped into another revolutionary and futuristic realm. I just find it a lot slicker. It added more layers and dimensions to what I'm able to do during a live performance. You can do some amazing stuff like slowing four tracks down at the slip mode. Overall, it's just a, another step up for the world of uh, CDJs. You can tell that somebody's paying attention to the needs of a DJ, and not just one DJ. They're paying attention to the needs of all DJs. It's the setup in every nightclub in the world now. 
who knows where we're going to be in 20 years, right? But what I do know, and what I have seen, uh, you know, that, that Pioneer are not scared to embrace that. They led every step of the way. Yeah.